Everyone agrees that the fundamentals are the heart and soul of jiu-jitsu, but there is much less agreement about what actually constitutes the fundamentals of the sport. Traditionally, most people have always associated a certain set of moves with the fundamentals of the sport. I've always believed this is something of a mistake. When you look at the idea of a fundamentals program, we must go beyond the idea of fundamental moves and start looking at the two other elements, which are equally, if not more so, fundamental to the sport of Jiu-Jitsu. These are the various movements that underlie the moves that we perform and the concepts that bring all the various moves together. A true fundamentals program will work at the level of movement skills, moves and concepts. When I talk about the fundamentals of Jiu Jitsu, rather than look in a superficial element or a superficial manner at the various moves of the sport, I rather prefer people to look at the fundamental skills of the sport. My interpretation of the fundamentals of Jiu Jitsu divides the skills of the sport into three separate areas. Standing position, ground position bottom, ground position top. Each of these three areas has five central fundamental skills within it. The standing position is composed of the five skills of stance, motion, grip, kazushi, that is off balancing, and transitioning to the ground, which of course is usually done through takedowns or from various forms of guard pull. On the ground, in bottom position, the five fundamental skills are pin escapes, guard retention, guard sweeps, half guard sweeps, and turtle escapes. In ground position top, the five fundamental skills are opening a closed guard, passing an open guard, passing half guard, pin maintenance and transitions, and turtle breakdowns. So three areas of skills, standing, ground, bottom, and ground top, each with five fundamental skills within it. This creates a picture of Jiu Jitsu as a sport with 15 fundamental positional skills. Of course, there are other skills outside of position, but the heart and soul of Jiu Jitsu, its real fundamental content is in its positional skills. Because as everyone will tell you, position becomes comes before everything else in the sport. Okay guys, I'm here today for the great John Denner. Huge honor for me as always. And guys, uh, we, we are super excited because we are just starting the new Fundamental series. So we had a great success with the Enter the System series that was all about no gi. And uh, with many subjects like leg locks, back attacks, kimura, armbar, triangle, front headlocks. And now we are just starting the Fundamental series that's going to be all with gi. And uh, it's going to be all about the fundamentals of Jiu Jitsu. That's like the most important part of Jiu Jitsu as the part that people struggle the most. And many times when you see someone doing something wrong in Jiu-Jitsu, 99% of the time is because they didn't have a great fundamentals. So John, can you explain to us a little more and also tell us what's going to be the first part of the series? That everybody's writing, like asking, like, when is it going to launch? What's the first one? Um, there's, there's a sense in which this is... Uh, uh, we, we launched the videos in an order that didn't make a lot of sense um, in, in some respects. Um, when you think about it, the first video I should have put out should have been fundamentals. Everything starts with the fundamentals. What we did, and we put out the advanced material, subsystems, yep. uh, first. Now, the reason for that was largely due to demand. Um, the squad for many years had been doing exceptionally well in international competition, and there was a huge interest in, okay, what are you guys doing differently? Um, and there was a sense in which uh, people saw the squad as using something new and exotic and different, and, and to a large extent, they were. But people got distracted from the fact that none of that would have been possible if they didn't have secure foundations upon which the more exotic elements of our game could actually be built upon. Um, there's a sense in which we're covering up for lost ground. 
uh, we started with the more exotic, uh, newer elements of, of our approach to jiu-jitsu, but we would be doing a huge disservice to the jiu-jitsu community if we didn't go back now to the fundamentals. Um, everyone agrees that the sport is built in a foundational fashion, that there's a, there's a kind of bedrock of tactics, moves, skills, and concepts uh, upon which everything else is built. Jiu-Jitsu is rather like an inverted pyramid. And that small foundation, everything else rests upon that. And if you attack the foundation, everything else would crumble. Um, so often, I'm sure you've had the same experience, Bernardo, you'll see a talented young athlete who does some things extraordinarily well, and you see tremendous potential, but any weakness in the fundamentals will always be exposed in competition. And uh, it, puts a, it puts a ceiling on how good they can get. And there's nothing sadder than watching someone hit three beautiful moves in a row and then get caught on something that was entirely avoidable. So um, uh, I'm fascinated by the project. Um, aesthetically, it's a whole different look. This is in a, in a gi, so uh, it has a very different look to it. Um, but the big message that we're, we're trying to put out here is that into the system was essentially a very detailed look at my own approach to the sport of jiu-jitsu, which is the idea of subsystems within an overarching system. Um, people know that uh, one of my interpretations of, of Brazilian jiu-jitsu as, as a sport, as, a, uh, as an industry, is the idea that it is itself a fairly simple systematic approach to combat. The most well-known uh, rendition of that system is the four-step system that I outlined on the Joe Rogan podcast. There are other ways you can interpret the system, uh, depending upon how the match starts or whether you end up on top or bottom. But ultimately, you're always going to end up with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu having somewhere between two to six steps, uh, which are repeatable in the case of failure. And uh, so it's this, it's this incredibly simple and yet devastatingly effective systematic approach to combat. What I tried to do as a coach starting many years ago was when I first understood Jiu-Jitsu as a system, uh, my question was, well, what if we created subsystems within an overarching system? Could we enhance the overall combat effectiveness of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? And that's what the great experiment behind the squad was. It was an attempt to show this. And I think it's fair to say people now see that this was a successful approach. It's not the only way of doing Jiu-Jitsu, but it's one very good way. And um, uh, what I want to do now with the Go Further Faster series is to take a backward step and say, okay, here's the subsystem approach, which is unique to, to, uh, uh, to the squad. And now it's not unique, now everyone can learn it. Um, but initially, at least, it was unique to the squad. Let's take a backward step now and let's look at the overarching system of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in which the subsystems are housed, in which they grew. And that's what I uh, that I want to do with the Go Further Faster uh, is to look at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as everyone does, as this um, uh, simple two to six step system, uh, which has been a, uh, so successful for, for generations now and, um, and has so many different uh, applications. So uh, I can't wait to, um, to yeah, uh, get no, this project yeah, going. We're, we're super we're excited. We're having a lot of fun so. filming it. It's been yeah. great so far. As much as we're engaged in this for a lifetime, you want to get as good as you can, as quickly as you can. And some of the great cliches of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is that, you know, it takes 10 years to be a black belt, minimum. And, um, uh, you know, uh, you can only make so much progress in so much time. Um, uh, as a coach, I often have to tell my students, you know, that they come to me depressed, like, you know, I should be better at this point. And, and I have to give them sessions of counseling where you're like, you know, relax, it does take time. Now, yes, it does take time, but I will say this, it doesn't have to take as much time as many people tell you. I have a, a, a theory of, of development in Jiu-Jitsu. I've never actually talked about this publicly because I think people would think I'd lost my mind if I, if I uh, said this. Um, I, I believe that in any kind of major physical skill, human beings can almost completely reinvent themselves within a five-year cycle. It's my honest and cherished belief that you can do remarkable things within a five-year span in some kind of physical activity, some kind of sport. Um, 
There's an old cliche often thrown around in the business world that people have a natural tendency to massively overestimate what they can accomplish in six months and an equally strong tendency to massively underestimate what they can uh, accomplish in five years. I'm a huge believer in the truth of this.